Hello, Form Four boys and girls. Long time no see. Welcome to my clip. Today, I would like to continue to talk about the psychical threshold, and today I would like to focus on Chapter Eleven Point Two, and the topic say tests for psychic cultural actuals so what does actually it is okay so i will explain to you today but before i start talking about this session so i would like to say about last classwork so because last classwork is very easy so i think that i have to post the solution later together with today's classwork okay at and, and actually for summarize what you learned about psychic cultural which is the first session of the chapter 11 okay so let me post the solution later uh, and now today I would like you to talk to take a to take a look on chapter eleven point two, which is talk about the tests for psychic cultural psychic cultural actuals. So please remember, okay, before you have to learn this session, so you should always keep in mind what's the meaning of psychic cultural actuals. Psychic cultural actuals, as you can see, this session reminds you once again is that if you have four points, four different points, or we simply say four long Korean points, and these four points align on the same circle then we will say that we can join the points by line segment then we will call that line segment will form a quadrilateral and that quadrilateral is called cyclic because all the vertices of the quadrilateral lies on circle so we call cyclic quadrilateral or simply we can also say the four points are called concyclic c-o-n-c-y-c-l-i-c so this in actually is an adjective to explain the points lie on the same circle okay so you should call concyclic here and now in this session we have to do the things conversely what does it mean that means that this time we don't know whether the four points are on the same circle we have to get some reasons or get some evidence to say the four points line are lying on the same circle so which is called the test for it so what do we say test for psychic cultural actuals here okay so this is the first part but before okay you look more about this session so get the idea is that the very very important idea that you have learned in chapter 10.2 is that for any three called non collinear points that means that this three point not joined by a straight line but the three points just like now i'm drawing like here is that okay you draw something like one two and three here so chapter 10 point in chapter 10 point two when we first learned about the property of circle so you have to understand that we this one provides a very strong evidence to say the three points should always be able to connect by a circle why? Because if you still remember what we said before, is that if three points are not collinear, are not collinear, that means that these three points can form a triangle, just like before. Then for triangle, you can join permanent bar center to to get the circumcenter, and actually the circumcenter means the circle which connect these three points and the center of this we call the circumcenter, and the circle we call the circumcircle that we learned before. So in order to learn more about this session okay so what we need to do is just you have to understand that for three points you can always have a circle it means that in order to test whether four points are in the same circle it's just is rather easy because what we need to do is just you take the four point or the last point to test whether it lies on the circum circle of the first three or the first three point this is what our target so you may you may feel confused because i talk too much here but don't worry, because this session is actually rather short. You can see that only about let me how many pages there are only nine pages, so very very short session because you don't need to learn so more. And also, if you really okay, just lead, just want to learn the main part of this one, so you can just read these three pages: the first one, and the second one, and the last one, which are the three fields or three references for the test of psychic control. The first one is called the converse. It's a converse of the theorem, or we say the converse of opposite angles of psychic control. Or if you want to use the past C references, you can also say this one is called opposite angle supplementary. And what does it mean? It means that if 
I don't know whether you have a circle, but we just have a uh, a quadrilateral. So we we don't have a circle. Remember, because we have to test whether the four points are in a circle. So actually, we have no circle. If we have a circle, so we don't need to prove. Now with no circle, but we guarantee that in this four point we form the quadrilateral, and also I can take one pair of the opposite angles. For example, I take this one and this one, and I say these two are x and y. If I guarantee that x plus y is 180, if, then it auto automatically form a circle to run these four points. And we'll call this one opposite angles of elementary. So that will be our first question you may ask is that, oh, Mr. Wall, is it only necessary that we can take one pair, which is 180? The answer is yes, because if for a quadrilateral, one pair of angle sum is 180, the second pair should also be 180. Why? Because you understand for a quadrilateral, no matter what is the shape of this one, for example, this time I call this one is called the V and W. Then you know that the sum of V and W is simply the angle sum of the whole quadrilateral, which is 360, subtract the X and Y, which is 180. So you can also guarantee that the second pair is 180. It means that in a quadrilateral, there is no big deal that you only have one pair of angles 180 because the next pair should be automatically also equal to 180. So once you have got this, then we can say the four point lies on the same circle, or we simply to say consecutive. So this is the first one. And the second one is called the uh, very, very special reference because they have many symbols here. It's called exterior angle equals to interior opposite angle. So once again, you don't need to actually to spell the words in DSC. As I mentioned, in DSC, we are not asking you to memorize or spell the reference, but you have to take the evidence instead. Okay, so that's why I say you have to write since and therefore instead. So and this one, the same as the last one, because you can see this one, you just produce longer one of the side to make the exterior angle. But you know the exterior angle and the interior angle should be supplementary. So you have also the relation like the the exterior angle of, of side quadrilateral before. So actually this one is called the converse of it. So this one I'll just give it because it's very easy to understand. Just here, now we say X and Y are the same. Because one is exterior, one is interior opposite. If they're the same, then you automatically have this one. So once you have this one, it's called like it. So this is number two. The last one is called the converse of angles in same segment. What does it mean? A converse of angles in same segment means that now we have something like the bow tie shape we said before. But if you still remember, I said you don't need to remember bow tie shape because what we need to keep in mind is that we have to keep in mind that the points that we are considering, because the points should always have an arc corresponding to it. So you have the angles of stand from the arc. But the most important thing is that for the converse of angle same segment means that now if I have the scenario like this, okay, no matter you join the red point, the, the, uh, the last side is not important. If we understand that this, this two triangle, we have these two angles the same, just like angle in same segment, then we can say the four point would becomes, okay, would becomes consecutive, or we say this line on the same circle. So these three, are the resources that you need to know. So now I would like to give you some example first and then to let you learn more. So you can see in order, okay, in order to use this free freedom. So what we need to do is that first of all, you have to understand when and how the book or the DSC will ask you to use this free freedom. The second is how to use. How do we know that we have to use this free freedom? Because the question will ask you something like in this phase is called whether the points are consecutive. So once you can see whether points are consecutive, it means that we have to take one of these three reasons to support your answer. For example, you can see for A and B. Now, you cannot see any circle because in order to determine whether they're consecutive, it means that we don't know whether there is a circle running this four point. It may not be, it may not, you may not have a circle running this four point because we can, we do not know whether we, they are really consecutive unless we can find the angle satisfying the 
free film we are talking about. For example, you can take a look about, take a look about A. Now you can see it. One we can have is set I will just have one hundred and ten here, forty and thirty. There's no more. Do remember is that because there is no circle, so don't use any circle property. This is not allowed because we don't have a circle. But don't worry, because you can see at this one hundred and ten, and together this one, which is seventy, add together, would make one hundred eighty degrees as the angle sum. Then we can recall the reason of. Opposite angles of symmetry to support that these four points are on the same circle. So you can see how we write is that you just simply say, oh, since this two angle, that means that the evidence is that you write since they add together is one related since. So you can see the word since. So therefore, okay, they are consecutive. And once again, do remember is that this reason is not necessary. It is optional in DSC, okay? So your math, math tutorial teacher may, may say, okay, it's very important, you have to write, but do remember, DSC, not a must. But this one, really important. Very important. So you have to write those words and steps here to support your friends. So here is called the opposite angle supplementary, okay? And also you have to understand, you said, once you have stated that, that they are consecutive, then you can see that the second part, which is the part two, in order to find some unknowns with this figure, then I can use circle to find the unknown. That means that if we have proved, we have proved consecutive, then for the past afterwards, then you can use circle property. So this is one of the things that uh, many students uh, cannot realize. Remember, we don't show you the, the circle at first because we have to use some steps or some evidence to support there should be a circle by having drawn. Or simply we say there's a consecutive. Then once I prove it, is a, it has a circle, consecutive, then I can use any circle property. So you can see that's why in example 5, 2 here, in order to find C, you can see the book would use the what? So you can see the book would use the uh, angles in the same time. It is because that A1, this one, provides that they will become a circle, okay, if they're consecutive. Then we can use the uh, angle reason that we learned before. For example, if I want to find C, this one. So it will become corresponding to the arc W is set here. So WZ will also have another angle WXZ or simply their angle in the same segment. If you want to use your references before, then you can say C is for here. So actually just like this. That means that if okay we want to talk about the consecutive, actually we it is a scenario that originally we don't have any circle. But I use some evidence provided from the graph or from, from the figure to know that okay. They, they can be formed using a circle, then I can use the circle property later on. So this is the idea. So for you for you to learn more, okay, you can also look more examples, okay, for example, the example five, example six, and example seven. But they are just very easy, so you can read by yourself. Now, okay, before I give you the class, I would like to talk a little bit more, is that how can we guarantee that these three, or simply we say these two, because this one and this are actually equivalent, okay? They have no difference at all. So the most important thing is that why the opposite angles of inventory in the angle, converse of angle same segment, guarantee that the fourth point lying on the same circle of the first three points, we simply why they are consecutive, okay? So this idea. So in order to prove this idea, so you can also see the proof of the book, because now I'm just introducing the idea from the book and actually it's also the common idea that many ma ma many mathematicians would, would would use it to explain why they works okay, why they work so in order to verify why, why they work it just means that now for example when we talk about the converse of angle in same time for example i say this time i have the point i have pqrs and given that now these two angles for example to say they're equal. So in order to to verify, okay, the film works or not, 
it just means that now we have to create a scenario to say for example I have a circle forming PQR already because it's guaranteed by Chapter 10 from 2 we learned before this is a circle here we want to verify whether S is on the circle so we can simply to think that if S is not in the circle that means that if S is somewhere else outside or inside the circle or we just say that oh oh actually they may be another circle okay maybe another circle okay according to S but now I can first fix two points to consider for example I say QR then you can see for S, Q and R there are also three points then I can draw something like another circle like this but the most important thing is that now you can see even the S is not on the red on the red circle which is the circle of PQR you can see original because we can see that the angle at S and angle at P which is QPR and, and QSR are the same so you have to switch the scenario like this but this scenario will bring, will bring you an error why? because you can see it now the QS okay is on the blue circle like this here for example this one is a blue circle but you can see because QS is a line segment or simply a line the QS would intersect with somewhere at the red right circle for example in this question you can see that okay there will be an intersection point here say we can say this point is called T okay but you understand that because T is on the circle with P it means that we can guarantee that QTR should have the same size as the angle QPR because they are on the red circle by angle in the same segment so there is a there is a problem comes why because you can see it. once you get it like this then you can see it in this triangle which is a triangle RST there is a problem you can see that the most important thing is that now this one which we will call this angle is called the QSR now will become the same as also angle QTR so these two would get would, would give you a very very okay ironic things very very impossible thing is that we would have what which is the angle ah oh, sorry I should write but better yeah the angle SRT which is this one okay it's the same with what it should be the angle QTR subtract angle QSR because my zero angle triangle will become zero degree but this one will make you an error so this one will give you what we can guarantee angle converse of angle in the same segment which makes the last point on the same circle of the first three because if it is not in this circle then you have a contradiction in the construction of the triangle to make zero degree comes it's not possible so it works so this is the idea so even okay you, you can also use this the same idea to convince why this one works why because you can understand that okay for example for psychical gyro okay for psychical gyro so once we can also okay can we can also construct four points for example this time i use another letter to let you really more understanding for example i say this time is a b c d okay we've guaranteed that now if i say this one x and y we guarantee that now x and y is one ratio okay so you can also use the same idea is that now i can this time fix the ac okay and then you first draw a circle the circum circle round ac and also one more point in this figure say for example i run the okay i run the point b so you have the abc okay the sub circle like this okay the sub circle is a short better so the sub circle like this okay yeah it should be something like this then you can see that d is not on the right circle but there, there is also a problem why because okay now we can see that y is one directly it means that this one i can simply just say one directly degree my x but there will be also one one more angle one directly my x y because this time you may produce a d that as i said okay no matter you produce okay or in between okay the line a d here the most important thing you can always construct another point for example say this one is d point on the circum circle of abc then there is also a problem is that 
because a dot c is 180 degree minus x by okay psychological property because red one con okay false the psychological property so you can also see the problem or the impossible scenario like the angle is same time so you can see in order to support why the film work the films work once we have to use would be also angles okay so okay i think that i will not talk too much because some of you may feel very very confusing of what i want to say about this one but don't worry okay as i mentioned i just want you to learn deeply about this film but you don't need to learn deeply actually in dsc what you need to know is just you have to know how to use that that means i strongly suggest you to memorize this free film as well as to take a look on some example to see how you should present your work practically in DSC. So today, okay, the holiday class were not so many, very, very short. Question 13, 15, 18, 21, 24, and 26. But you can see there's a sound on 24. We are 24 to remember, we will have to talk about something which is called centroid. So before you start doing the homework, so let me okay remind you what's mean centroid first. Centroid is a point in every triangle that made up by the medians. Okay, so you have to remember the word medians. But you have to what is mean median? Median means that sign from any word has you draw a line, and this line has a very important okay the construct the condition is that you make these two parts the same. Then we will call this one is called the median. It means that the median line, okay, should bisect the side which you go through, okay, which the lines goes through, the line goes through. Then we will call it the median. That means that when you see, okay, a centroid, for example, you draw another median, something like this. But do remember is that because the sides are different, so you may not guarantee that, okay, they have the same symbol. So but the most important thing is that the side is still bisect. Then we'll call this one the centroid. That means that in other words, okay, if you don't direct use the centroid, you can also use the median. And median, do remember, should always bisect any side into two equal parts. So we, this is what you need to get when you do the question 24. So do remember, okay, if you have any problem, so ask me anytime as you wish. Uh, happy holiday, happy working day tomorrow this is working day or labor day okay but don't worry work harder okay and do it okay be uh do do this homework okay on monday so on coming wednesday okay on 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 the, on the next wednesday okay i i i i still don't know okay who which teacher okay we conduct the lesson most probably maybe maybe me okay uh but you have to prepare the next lesson we will go to the new session talk about attention to circle okay so try to do this next question thank you and goodbye